understand vibration, we simply have to define certain terms. One term that's used in describing vibration is cycle. When the block moves from the starting position to one extreme, then past its starting position to the other extreme, and finally back to its original position, it is said to have completed one cycle. The number of cycles that occurs over a specific amount of time is known as the frequency of the vibration. Frequency is one of the fundamental characteristics of vibration. Frequency can be measured in cycles per minute, CPM, or in cycles per second, CPS. CPS is simply CPM divided by 60. CPS can also be expressed as Hertz. If we apply this information to the block and spring, we can determine the frequency of the block's vibration. Let's say the block completed 1200 cycles in one minute. If that's the case, then the frequency of vibration would be 1200 cycles per minute, which can be converted to 20 CPS or 20 Hertz. Another term used to describe certain features of vibration is displacement. Displacement is the distance between the two extremes traveled by the vibrating object. Displacement is usually measured in mils, which is one thousandth of an inch. When the block in the model moves up and down, it travels between two extremes, from point A to point B. By measuring the distance between those two points, the amount of displacement can be found. For instance, if the distance between the two extremes measured 21 thousandths of an inch, then the displacement would be 20 mils. Sometimes displacement is referred to as a peak-to-peak -peak measurement. That's because the two points from which the displacement is measured can be thought of as peaks. Another term that's associated with vibration is velocity. Velocity is a measurement of the distance that an object travels in a given period of time. The velocity of a vibration is normally measured in inches per second. If the block travels one mil in approximately one second, then the velocity of the block is one mil divided by one second, or one one thousandth of an inch per second. The velocity of a vibration is constantly changing. For example, the velocity of the block is faster as it passes by its original position than it is when it reaches one of the extremes. Because of that, velocity is sometimes measured when it's at its highest, which is known as peak velocity. There's another term that's often used to describe certain aspects of vibration. That term is acceleration. Acceleration is a measure of how fast an object changes speed. Acceleration is often expressed in inches per second squared. Inches per second squared means that an object's velocity increases at a certain number of inches per second for every second that passes. Suppose the block travels downward from point A to point B. As it moves, its speed increases or accelerates. So let's say that in the first second, the block travels two inches. Then in the next second, it travels four inches. And in the next second, it travels six inches. We can then say that the block was traveling an additional two inches for every second that passed. In other words, the block was accelerating at a rate of two inches per second per second, or two inches per second squared. Another way that acceleration can be expressed is in G's. A G is a rate of acceleration equal to that which is caused by the force of gravity. Gravity causes a falling object to accelerate at a rate of 32 feet per second squared. So, 1 G equals 32 feet per second squared, or 384 inches per second squared. There is a relationship between acceleration and velocity. When acceleration is highest, velocity is lowest, and when acceleration is lowest, velocity is highest. A child on a swing can be used to help illustrate how acceleration and velocity are related.
If the child has just reached one peak and is starting to move in the opposite direction, then acceleration is at its highest, while velocity is at its lowest. Likewise, if the child is traveling through the original starting position, which is midway between the two peaks, then velocity is at its highest, while acceleration is at its lowest. As long as the child is moving, velocity and acceleration are constantly changing. This action is basically the same for vibrating objects. Another term associated with vibration is phase. Phase is the position of a vibrating component in reference to a fixed point at a specific time. For example, the block travels past a fixed point, so regardless of where the block is located, its position can always be compared to the fixed reference point. By measuring the phase, the movement of the block can be better understood. One more term that's often used in vibration analysis is amplitude. Amplitude is a general term used to describe how much displacement, velocity, or acceleration exists.